Hi friends, hope you are all doing well. Today I am going to discuss about a book which is very important if you are somebody who is planning to learn about aerospace engineering or aircraft in general. Now this is not only if you are studying this subject in a college or university, but also if you are a pilot, you are a prospective pilot or if you are somebody who has completed class 12 or grade 12 and wants to learn about the aerospace field. So this book is essentially Introduction to Flight by John Anderson Jr. It's published by McGraw Hill and I am looking at the 8th edition of this book. So essentially this is quite a thick book you will see here it's got about 900 plus pages and this book is essentially divided into 10 chapters. So I have been using this book for teaching a course for a long time so this course was entitled flight and space mechanics and before that i studied this book several times i was a graduate student at the university of maryland college park and i was referring to this book even at that time and before that when i was doing my bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering at the indian institute of technology kharagpur i was referring to the book by Carmod and also some of anderson's book for example in the areas of aircraft performance and aerodynamics so he writes pretty profusely, pretty nicely, and he explains things in a way which is very easy for people to understand. The book is filled with a lot of examples and a lot of problems. So if you are somebody interested in learning more about aerospace, this is certainly recommended as the textbook along with the lectures which I have put in my YouTube channel. So do take a look at that. Now I'm going to discuss the eight chapters of this book here. So let's chart with chapter one and chapter one is essentially the history of aerospace so it covers the different aeronautical engineers who came up in the field Wright brothers George Colley and so on and all these people did make a substantial contribution now chapter two is entitled fundamental thoughts this is about the basic point properties as far as aerodynamics is concerned that is pressure density temperature flow velocity and also introduces the equation of the perfect gas. Also some explanation is given about the airplane itself and the space vehicles. Chapter 3 is about the standard atmosphere. So this tells you about the atmospheric variation of density as the height goes up and temperature and also it tells you about the important things such as hydrostatic equation relation between geopotential and geometric altitudes and so on. Chapter 4 is a very big chapter. This is the fundamental chapter of the book and this explains basic aerodynamics to you in a very simple manner. So essentially he covers the basics such as continuity equation, momentum equation, Bernoulli equation, isentropic flow, energy equation and so on. Also elements of subsonic wind tunnel, supersonic flow are covered including incompressibility, compressibility, viscous flow inviscid flow concepts such as turbulent and laminar boundary layer and flow separation also various devices such as the pitted tube the pitted static tube are covered in this chapter now chapter 5 is entitled airfoils wings and aerodynamic shapes so this is the chapter where you start making the transition from aerodynamic theory to actually the wing section and here he discusses infinite and finite wings the airfoil properties the drag polar drag divergence mark number critical Mach number, wave drag and the very important concepts of induced drag and the drag polar. So all these are explained in this chapter along with important concepts such as why you need swept wings, what are high lift devices and so on. Now chapter 6 is entitled elements of aircraft performance and essentially this chapter includes the drag polar, equations of motion facts such as the power required for jet and propeller also he talks about landing he talks about takeoff and so on so important concepts such as the range and endurance of propeller and jet aircraft are explained so these are certain things you need to keep in mind now the new edition of the book also has information about uavs which are unmanned vehicles and micro air vehicles so these are something new which were not there in some of the previous editions of the book. Now let's look at chapter 7. This is about principles of stability and control. So this introduces static and dynamic stability concepts, important concepts such as longitudinal static stability, 
lateral static stability and directional stability so all the different bodies which you see on the airplane such as the tails the horizontal tail the vertical tail the ailerons and all are explained here and you learn about why these particular tails are required for aircraft now chapter 8 is about space flight and space flight has become very important not just because you want to travel to other planets and so on but because satellites play a very important role in lot of the communication infrastructure and so on so here for example things discussed include kepler's law the orbit equations and things such as the exponential atmosphere ballistic entry and the equations of motion for atmospheric entry so this is a chapter which will cover some of the basic aspects you need to know about escape velocity about the velocity you need to circle around the earth and so on now chapter 9 is about propulsion so he starts with propeller reciprocating engine and then looks at jet turbojet turbofan ramjet rockets and so on also there is a chapter or a section on electric propulsion which is becoming increasingly important finally chapter 10 is about hypersonic vehicles so these are vehicles which fly extremely fast at mark number 5 and so on and many times missiles and all use this hypersonic medium so here he discusses many things such as shock layers entropy layers and the different basic equations which are required for hypersonic flow so the newtonian law for hypersonic flow is discussed here at the end of the chapter or the book there are many appendices so for example standard atmosphere is given here and also a lot of airfoil data one of the good features about this book again is that it has got a plethora of solved examples so you need to look at all those solved examples if you are really going to understand the different concepts in aerospace engineering and also there are a large number of unsolved examples or problems i should say at the end of each chapter so you should try to do some of these problems many of these problems may be assigned in your class and make sure you do these problems because it's very important to do problems in this field and this book is written in such a manner that it's quite easy to understand i of course find that sometime the language is too much i prefer to have mostly math in my discussions and class so i follow that approach but if you are somebody who likes to read a lot then certainly anderson's book is going to be very useful for you because if you are somebody who is more of a verbal person then this book gives you a blend of quantitative and verbal aspects of aerospace engineering both these type of people will understand the concept here now when i was studying the aerospace subject in my third year in my bachelor's degree there was a book by Carmode, and i think that book is still out there that was a non-mathematical book and anderson's book is the first mathematical book and he does presume a basic knowledge of calculus and that's it he does not presume too much more knowledge than that now of course there are more complex ways of getting into the subject but then those books tend to become more difficult and they tend to separate you out from the physics so this book is more focused on the physics of the problem so this was my take on the book introduction to flight by john anderson jr published by mcgraw hill very useful textbook if you want to study aerospace engineering and i hope you will enjoy this book certainly buy this book get it from your library or order it from amazon.com or any of the booksellers out there which are there in your university so most universities will have this book or they will be able to order this book at short notice i'll end this video now some planes have been flying around today because they know that i'm discussing aerospace engineering and it seems the birds are also quite happy i will see you in a video sometime soon see you then